Hello friends, I finally made it out to my rental property and the first thing that we are going to be doing is switching out the lighting in the kitchen. This particular set of lights was updated in the last couple of years according to what my in-laws said to us but we still wanted to update it and make it our own. We really love LED lighting and white light. Eventually all the lighting in the house is going to be updated but this is where we are going to start. We are going to be installing a set of lights sent to me by a company called Ensenior. They are 13 inch LED flush mount lighting. I love these type of lights. I even have them in my own home. These lights are so sleek, they look so modern, and they really do change up a space. These lights right now are on sale on Amazon for $23. That's an absolute steal, especially for the look that you're getting. I absolutely love the look and this is so perfect for me because all of the home renovations that I'm going to be doing and the updates that we're doing in this house we definitely are trying to do those on a budget so this lighting came in handy and I totally recommend it. Um, it came with everything that we need and a user manual which was very helpful because um, it's definitely a different type of light so you want to make sure that you have the instructions so you know how to install it. This first light was a little tricky. It was something that we weren't sure how to remove since we didn't install it so my husband struggled a little bit with getting it off and then we decided you know what we're not going to even work on this one. We are just going to move on to the next one and that is what we did. It looked a little more straightforward and so we put the other light on instead. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and link down below this particular light in case it's something that you're interested in. I promise you it's so beautiful. Just keep on watching and you will see exactly what it looked like after we installed it. While my husband is installing the light, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the plans that we have for the house. Um, one of them is definitely to get all the lighting changed and this is the first room that we've tackled. All of the bedrooms and the living room are going to be getting new ceiling fans and I haven't picked those out yet. Um, the bathroom, I think the fixture in the bathroom is fine. Um, I may or may not paint the tile in the bathroom. It's a little too busy for me right now and I do have um, the kit to paint it white. So that's something that I'm considering doing. I'm also considering painting the countertops. I know I said that I was going to leave them the way they are, but um, I don't know. There's something coming over me where I just really want to see a transformation in this kitchen. There's the light. Doesn't it look gorgeous? I absolutely love it. So modern. It just looks so much better and it really brings out the color of the walls. So back to the updates we want to make to the house. Um, let's see here. We're definitely planning on doing some big upgrades which is why some of the smaller things I'm not letting them bother me. We want to switch out the evaporative air for refrigerated air. So that's costly and then we're thinking of just getting all of the windows replaced because the windows are original to the home which was built in 1955. Replacing the windows would make such a big difference in the look and feel of the house because if we do plan on replacing the air unit then it just makes sense to have good windows in the house to improve the efficiency of the energy and uh, the coolness and the heat that's kept in. Um, I've noticed that in Texas tile floors are so cold <laughs> and this house is a tile floor home. We are going to be putting some type of wood flooring in the bedrooms. I'm not sure exactly what type we are going to be putting in. Some of you suggested that I put the wood over my tile but um, we're not going to be doing that. My husband does not believe <laughs> in putting floor over floor so if I ever wanted to put wood floor down in the entire house we'd have to break this tile and that's not something that uh, we're willing to do at this time. So a quick note on this particular light we decided to go with something different and that is because um, the lighting it just kind of blares down and the kitchen is long and narrow and it wasn't lighting up 
that side of the kitchen because we, it just needed more power. So we ended up going out to Home Depot and picked this up. It's a similar type of light. We couldn't find anything with the black accent around it. So it's silver. I figured I would paint it, but uh, for now my husband's going to install this light. One last big update is that we are going to be getting new appliances for this kitchen. So we will get a new stainless steel fridge. A stainless steel stove will be my old stove. I got a new stove, but our stove was still in very good condition. And then a microwave to match. And then the washer and dryer are going to be the washer and dryer that I had in my home, which we had purchased for a rental property anyways. They're smaller. Um, I just needed to upgrade the washer and dryer in my personal home. And so that particular set is gonna go in this house, which is why I won't be putting a stackable set in this house, as some of you mentioned, maybe down the line in the future. But for right now, I already have the washer and dryer, so we are going to be using them here. We are finally done with the lights and this took us a lot longer than we anticipated. We just ran into a few hiccups and it wasn't with the light sets themselves. It was just with the lighting um, box. Like I said, every light box has its story and my husband is not an electrician so he does the best that he can and um, he finally got both lights up. This is just one piece to the puzzle. I cannot wait to get in this kitchen and start transforming it. I've just been brainstorming um, the color scheme that I want to use in here. I, it hasn't come to me yet. <laughs> Let me know if you have any suggestions. As I mentioned, I think I want to paint the countertop. I don't know, I've always wanted to paint a countertop and I feel like this is my chance to do so. But look how beautiful these lights look. I'll go ahead and insert a before. That way you can see um, just how good they look. Make sure to check out N Senior. They have an Amazon store, so it would be so easy for you to get these at your doorstep in the next day or two. Thank you, N Senior, for sending me these lights. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and move the stove back to where it belongs. I'm not sure why it was moved, um, but we're gonna move it back and just imagine this space with a stainless steel stove and microwave. It's going to look so good. My mother-in-law gave me this baker's rack and I figured I could put it in this space right here since it was just like an empty wall. But I quickly realized that I don't want to do that. It kind of closed the space in. Of course, I would paint this a different color. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Um, it is a pretty neat piece. I don't see baker's racks around very often. So I don't know, we'll see if this stays in this kitchen or not. Of course, it would be a completely different color. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Um, please follow along for more of these updates. They may be slow to come just because uh, real life has been a little hectic <laughs> and so getting to this house hasn't been easy for us and we really like doing most of the work ourselves so that's why it's taking us just a bit longer and one of my next videos I did go in and clean the kitchen thoroughly so I'll be sharing that with you shortly hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video bye